Okay, on this video, we're going to assume you're outside and it's dark, but we're just basically going to be playing with the telescope, see how well it's going to run. And we will assume that it is polar aligned and is ready to uh, start up doing a star alignment. So, uh, in the hand controller, as you can see, I've got, I've got set up here, and I'm going to hit enter, and I'm going to go down because the telescope is not in the polar uh, position uh, in, in the hand controller. So I'm going to hit enter, and we're going to go back to mode, set up. We're going to do a line and we're going to do easy alignment and that should bring up the uh, GPS and you follow the instructions you put it in the position for the alignment which it is and it's going to take a GPS fix Telescope rotates for you to manually use the control knobs on the wedge to center up Polaris in an illuminated eyepiece with crosshairs. Usually it's a, I think a 12 millimeter, or you can use your camera as long as you got, you know, crosshairs and you center it up with the hand control knobs uh, manually. And once you've done that, you can hit enter and uh, it will go to uh, a star to align on. So we'll assume we've done the adjustment with the knobs and we'll go from there. We'll assume we've centered up on the star and we'll hit enter. And it's just a one star alignment on this item. So what we can do now, we can just, you know, start selecting our objects that we want to look at or image. But I'm gonna do something that uh, some people may not know about, guided tour. And you can do tonight's best, there are other ones you can pick but I'm gonna do tonight's best just to run through to see how well the scope slews now and so forth yeah and we can hit Venus because it is daytime and we hit go to supposedly slewed to Venus, centering, and of course you would center up also with the, the control system here. We'll say it's entered, and we can go back to mode, and we'll hit Mars. Now I think maybe you can hit just go to from it, and it'll do that without having to hit enter. And we got Mars. Now you, what you do is you can hit the down button down here and change the item. And let's go to Jupiter. I 
I do believe after greasing my gears, they are a bit more quieter. And we got uh, supposedly Jupiter, you line it up and everything. So let's go down here and hit, go to another one. Mesere is 32, and we can hit go to. Just pick something else. Andromeda, yeah. Not too far from that, that other one. <laughs> Double cluster. Now to get out of this mode, you're gonna to have to hold down the mode button a little bit. And then you, to, to get it out and you go back. Now another feature you can do that a lot of people don't know about is we go back to uh, setup, pick your telescope. And here again, I'm scrolling, oops, backwards. Hit enter and I'll go to high precision, hit on high precision, turn it on, hit enter, go back, and say you want to uh, go to say uh, M32 again, and then hit 32, hit uh, go to, won't do that that way. Okay, so this one you have to hit enter on, and you hit go to, and what it's gonna do it's going to find a star near the object that you center on. And it, usually it's, it's in the field of view of the uh, finder scope. You center it in and so you've got it in your optics and you put it in your eyepiece view and you hit enter. And then it'll slew to the selected object you want. And usually it's in the field of view of your eyepiece or your camera. It's a little more accurate way if you're having trouble finding something that you can use the high precision feature. So the telescope seems to be slewing fine. Uh, since I balanced it in the on the equatorial mount with the uh, counterweight system that I purchased, I have marked my location so I can put those weights back in the same spot. And it's a little hot outside, been hot for a couple weeks and clouds and rain in the deep south. So I'm gonna have to wait a little longer to get outside and try this out with an imaging session. Hopefully we'll have some clear skies on a moonless night in a couple of weeks. So clear skies, y'all. Have fun.